What more could I say about the Capcom vs SNK series that haven't been said already? Critically acclaimed, universally praised, and easily some of the most fun you'll ever have with a fighting game. For a series as beloved as this one, why has it been 18 years since the last one? Believe it or not, Capcom vs SNK 3 was actually in development at one point. Don't believe me? Well look for yourself. I stumbled across a Capcom owned website recently that's not only active, but predominantly features behind the scenes details on game development, canceled projects, and rejected assets. On the website, I found an interview with the legendary SNK and King of Fighters developer, Mr. Tanabe. During this interview, he details his early days at Capcom after SNK went bankrupt in 2001. After working on some of SNK's biggest projects, such as with the first SNK vs Capcom and Capcom vs SNK, it was a natural choice for him to choose Capcom as his next place of business. During this time, he brought along some of the talented developers at SNK with him. Returning to the interview, Mr. Tanabe details that upon being hired, he was assigned to two projects. However, before beginning development on what would have been Capcom Fighting All-Stars, the first fighting game that he was assigned to was Capcom vs SNK 3. Hey, I hope you don't mind me cutting in here. If you liked the video so far, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Now sure, the title of the game was censored by Asterix, but it's as clear as day as to what those Asterix stood for. Mr. Tanabe even spoke of reusing assets from a different game, something that the Capcom vs SNK series were no stranger to. Now, if we made a timeline of release, Capcom vs SNK 1 and 2 were released a year apart from one another. Whereas the first game was released in 2000, the second game was released in August of 2001. Mr. Tanabe described CVS 3 as a game that he worked on shortly before Fighting All Stars, a game that was in development for a year and a half before being shown and cancelled in 2003. That would mean that Fighting All Stars began its development around the latter half of 2001. It wouldn't surprise me if CVS 3 began its development sometime before Fighting All Stars, but was developed simultaneously with it until its eventual cancellation. If the development time of the previous entries are anything to go by, CVS 3 would have been released sometime in the latter half of 2002 or the beginning of 2003. A 2D fighter takes a significantly shorter time to develop than a 3D fighter. Considering that Capcom often recycled their assets, the release window of their 2D fighters were not large gaps by any shape of the imagination. Capcom were pumping out games left and right. To give this story even more relevance, Mr. Tanabe detailed later in the interview that a character from his old place was a secret character in Fighting All Stars, referencing a third party character from the SNK camp. Although the character is silhouetted, he is mentioned by name in the interview. Due to the sensor, we only have three letters to work with. Judging from the body shape, hairstyle, and recent relevance of the Capcom vs SNK series, the character was no doubt Keo from King of Fighters fame. Mr. Tanabe and his team were the bridge between Capcom and SNK that would have potentially improved the state of their games. So, what happened? During the year of 2001, SNK filed for bankruptcy and initially planned to sell their IPs to the highest bidder. It was during this phase that Capcom wanted to isolate themselves from the company. This eventually led to the game being cancelled and Keo most likely being scrapped during the earlier stages of fighting All Stars development. After both games cancellation, Capcom tried to scavenge the ideas that were left on the cutting room floor and created Capcom Fighting Jam a game that thrust Capcom into a dark age of fighters that saw no fighting game releases. It took the likes of Tatsunoko vs Capcom and Street Fighter 4 to give Capcom the confidence boost they needed to give fans more fighting games. With the likes of MVC3 and Ultra Street Fighter 4 thereafter, fighting games received the support they needed, and the rest is history. Capcom vs SNK3 could have been the best in the series a game that would have been praised as one of the best 2D fighters in history. In the words of Dr. Seuss, don't cry that it's over, be happy that it happened. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, check out my video on the next Capcom crossover. You'll love it.